and watch the tone changes, just like in the movies, like I have good tone, oh, stand by. Once he has good tone, he's gonna engage the target now. Brian, for me, press that cage button. Just depress it and let go. One more time. Just maybe one more time. And let go. Let me see. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna have you lower your nose for me. Lower your nose. Altitude. There we go. Press that button again for me. There you go. Okay. All right, so that diamond is actually a seeking head off that missile. He's gonna put the diamond onto one of those targets, and once it's on there, you will just, just lightly tap it. The diamond, if it gets bigger and changes tone, it tells him that he has a good lock or the missile's acquired the target. At that point, you can launch the missile. You're pressing the red button. You ready, Brian? Here he goes. He says he's ready. Let's see what happens. Okay, so go ahead and cage that missile again. There you go. I see the diamond. Find the closest target. So what he's going to do, because we only have so much range, he'll find the closest target to one of those two. Very good. And he's going to maneuver the aircraft. Go ahead and add some power now. Just a little bit. And you want to cage again. There you go. Okay, you got the diamond back. Okay. I think you... Lower your nose and cage. Okay, hear that? The tone changed. He's acquired the target. Go ahead and release the missile. And pressing the red button on the right hand side. There you go. One's off. Go ahead and roll on to the next guy. See, the AIM-9 is a fire and forget weapon. It allows the F-16 pilot or the pilot to engage multiple targets at once. Now you gotta get that diamond back. To do that, you gotta re-cage it. There you go, then uncage. So the way he's getting that diamond on the next target, now press your cage button. Okay, good tone, he releases. Now, go engage the guy on the left, the one that's smoking. It's gonna take two missiles to knock these guys down. Try not to use the rudders at all. Use the flight stick, you, you gotta have to roll back and forth. Now he's gonna roll back to the right. Engage, you have a third guy, number three on the right, let's get him. So here we have Brian, did some basic aircraft handling, now he's engaging multiple targets. Excellent job. Getting the hang of it. That's exactly what he's doing. It is. You're making a mess, Brian. This guy's trying to evade you. Let's get him. Now the F-16, as Brian goes after him, re it. There you go, you get back. Good tone, nice. Um, the F-16 has multiple master modes, it's fine. So we're using the air to air mode. When we're done here, he's gonna go back to the air to, to the nav mode, go back to his normal mission. Again, having these master modes allows us to quickly engage a target, then go back to whatever our regular mission was. The dogfight mode switch that he's using today is the same switch as used by the Thunderbirds when they turn their smoke on. So Brian, when they see the smoke show, right? That's the same switch. Smoke on, smoke off. Excellent. Let's go uh, full burner. Hard left hand turn. Let's see what a hard turn looks like. Bring it back. Yes, the G's. So right now you're pointing, he's pointing about two and a half, three G's right there. And what he's doing, he's clearing the area. He's looking to see if there's anybody in the area. He does not have radar on. By the way, see that little snake thing out there? It looks like these long fingers. That's actually the gun for his cannon that is actually showing him where his bullets are gonna go. Remember, he's flying. So if he shoots, it's showing the path that, that bullet's gonna fly through the air. Because if I fire here and I'm gonna turn, that bullet's gonna go over behind me somewhere. So that's why you see it all squiggly. So what the pilot does is he puts those on the aircraft in front of him, and then he'll release, and he'll know that the bullet will hit, the, hit him. There's actually multiple modes for even firing the cannon. Brian, go ahead on the right MFD. So on the right hand by your right knee, see there's a button at the bus, it's SMS, store 